All right, let's get started on this. this. This could be a really long video. I want to keep it as short as possible. We've got this positive negative fluctuation um, assignment. It's pretty common in academia. And the first thing I would have you do is go to Pinterest. Um, and like you can see, I've organized a bunch of boards on different things, right? Like here's my, my uh, Pinterest stuff and design positive and negative. So you can see the fluctuating juice typography. Here's Batman, and there's, I think that's the penguin. What, 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 you know, in some of the examples, what they like to see is the face, and then, oh, but there's the hand, the back and forth, right? You don't necessarily have to do that. You know, you can just do focus on, on a balanced design of black and white that where you kind of go between the black and the white fluctuating. But anyway, go to Pinterest. And, you know, if you find something you like, you can freehand it. You can sketch from it. You can get ideas from it, right? Um, media is pretty open. But remember, we are going into Illustrator to convert this. So keep it nice and simple and black and white. Now, I um, generated my ideas in AI. And, um, you know, I went in here and I said... Um, Black and white, positive, negative space, flip-flopping, positive, negative space. And, uh, you know, I really liked this, so I, I took that into Photoshop. Uh, you can see here, you know, AI, I don't like the results. It makes it far too complex and it puts these faces in there. But for this assignment, you know, I did like, for example, um, like this image here. Now, remember, in, in academia right now, they don't want you to just push a button and generate an image and say that you're done. So... You have to combine, you have to document all of your prompts if you are going to use AI. And again, you don't. You could you could go into AI and generate this and you could look at this and go, hey, I'm going to go to my sketchbook and sketch this out and draw this out. And then, you know, a alter it and put a face in there or whatever. And then you don't have to, to you know, mention AI. But if you're going to use the digital image, you got to... What they want is they want all the prompts and they're going to want you to save all these images in a document so that you can go back. If somebody says, how did you make it? You can say, I use this image and this image and this image and this image. All right. Now, I uh, again, I brought I brought these in and, you know, I'm OK at Photoshop. So I would, you know, copy and paste and flip. For example, you can see here, I took this image, I cut it in half, I flipped it, I made it, you know, completely black and white, and I went over here and I had something like this. And, you know, this is only two images from, uh, I, I prefer to have four or five, and I think I've got one in here where I have more, this one. So on this one, I brought in those stairs, I brought in this face, I brought in this face, and I, and I got these swirls from somewhere in here. So this one's better in terms of me being able to backtrack and go, hey, I just didn't push a button. I went and found five images and I, and I collaged them because we've been working in collage. So let's say you've got your design, you've made it. I'm not going to do a Photoshop tutorial right now, but let's say you've, you've done your design and you've exported it. Now you go into Illustrator and let me show you some tricks that'll make your life a lot easier. All right. First of all, I'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. All right. Get rid of that. All right. We're going to do a file new. All right. I For this one, I like working on letter. Sometimes people make things that are, you know, size is a problem, the way they're exporting them out. And I'm reducing, you know, again, little tricks. Double-clicking the hand fills the screen. Um, Apple uh, option minus will take it down. What you're going to do is you're going to place that image, your sketch, your scanned sketch, whatever it is that you're going to convert in Illustrator. In my case, it was, you know, you, you take it out of, I, out of your iPad, take it from Photoshop, whatever. You're going to place it. You're going to do a file place. All right. And uh, I'm going to find my little file here and I'm going to put it in here. Hold down, you know, it's funny, in Photoshop, they got rid of holding down the shift key to maintain proportions, but they didn't in Illustrator. So you still have to hold down the shift key. Hold on. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to fit this on here. There's my guy, okay? Now... 
I don't know why I moved it. Um, now, there is no crop in Illustrator. All right. So you're going to use your artboard tool. That's your artboard tool right there. And you're going to adjust it. And if you decide that you're going to go in here and you want to, you know, make it smaller or anything. I forgot to hold down my shift key. All right. So you do that. And then you go, but wait, I'm, here's my artboard, but I see all this stuff sticking out. It's really bothering me. You just go up to view and you go to trim view and it gets rid of it. All right. The first thing you want to do is you want to convert this to a vector shape. Because right now, if you presented this and posted this in class, uh, I would look at it and go, you didn't do anything in Illustrator. So you, you would not get a very good grade because the whole idea is to learn the Illustrator tools. All right. So, but one trick that you can do is you can do select the select the image go to object uh, image trace make and expand all right so what you've done there now is it's converted this into a vector all right instead of a raster shape or instead of raster images so this is nice right now all of a sudden you got all of these vector shapes in here that you can play with all right but now you still have to manipulate this Okay, now I believe they want you to use the blob tool for this. So the blob tool is right here. There's your paintbrush. There's your blob. All right. Uh, color in the foreground is what you're painting with. Now, another trick is on your window, make sure your properties is open. Okay. With your um, blob brush because you've got tool options. Now, blob brush, you can make it so that every little stroke you make is just like a pencil, or you can make it kind of smooth, or you can make it really smooth. And what I mean by that is when you make a stroke, see how it smooths it out? Well, that's kind of cool. So um, I'm going to go in here, and usually I would zoom in Apple Plus, and I would hold down the space bar to move around and then make sure my blob brush is, is, is there. And I would go in here and I would clean this up. And every time I go in and I do something here, it's adding to my, um, my image. All right. So I'm going to go around, you know, I don't like this chin. All right. You see how it's making a path, a path. That's what the instructor is looking for. It's like, oh, the student didn't just bring it in, do a live trace. All right. There's some effort in there. Okay. We're going to, we're going to make this black. All right. And then for the, for that, I want nothing. So there's my foreground. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to, I'm going to clean up these black areas. So imagine that you're going in here and you're using your blob tool and you're fixing things up and you're deciding that, you know, how, how you want things to look. Now, remember, um, too, that, let's see, I'm going to use black there. You also have your pen tool. So if I want to make this, if I want to get rid of all that stuff in there, okay, I can do that. I kind of don't like that little bump. It's always bothered me. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do stuff like that. So you have to kind of fall in love with your piece and spend time with it and fix it. And um, let's see, I'm going to make this white now. Double click. You bring up your colors. I think the last thing I'm going to do is uh, I, I'm going to use my, my, uh, my little... Um, pen tool and I'm going to clean up those edges. So imagine I've gone in here and you know, I, I, whoops, except I didn't want, hold on. Let me, let me select that shape. I, I didn't want the black there. So I'm going to replace it with no stroke. Okay. So the important thing, place, make and expand, turn it into a vector, use your blob tool, go around and draw on it. Okay and get it to where you want. And then you're going to export. This is going to be your, your, let's call this the positive version. Now you go to file. Boom, boom, boom. 
export. I'm going to export it as a PNG file, and I'm going to call this um, test final one. I got a lot of tests going on in there. It's a PNG. We want to use the artboards. A lot of times you'll run into problem exporting things out of Illustrator and you'll be like, but it looked good to me. And then what you export doesn't look like what you were looking at in Illustrator. You're going to use the artboards. Okay. This test final one. High resolution. Okay. We want high resolution. Now, I believe in this particular assignment, they want you to invert it. So what do you do? You select everything, Apple A or, you know, whatever it is on the PC, you're going to select everything. And then you're going to go to, um, uh, what was it? Colors. Here we go. Edit colors, invert colors. There's your inverted version. Okay. And what are you going to do? You're going to export it. You're going to do a file. Um, export, export as. PNG. We're gonna go. We're gonna call this uh, test final two. All right. This is the desktop. Use artboards. Boom. High quality. All right. Now, <clears throat> let me think. Oh, now make sure that you. What's required for this assignment? They want a positive version. They want a negative version. And they want this AI file. Right? So you do a file. Save as. See the dot .ai there? We're going to call this test final. You're going to post this in the classroom. It's an AI file. Because. Illustrator. Create. Okay, that's fine. Because if I look at your work and I'm like, mm, was that really done in Illustrator? I'm going to click on that AI file and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to see all of this good stuff. Oh, yeah, this student, you know, broke it apart and drew on it and fixed it and did this and that and the other. All right. So what are you going to do in the classroom? You can you're going to attach the AI file. All right. If you used um, if you use um, AI, then you're going to want to have all your prompts. You're going to want to insert all of those images. Okay. So if you have any questions on that, you know, let me know. But um, let me just find the images here so we can see them together. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. All right. So here's test final one. And then we're going to bring in test final two as well. You notice it doesn't have, a, it'd be nice to have a little border around it. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, to make a perfect composition, you would want to put a hairline border around there. Uh, it does make it difficult to see this. It might be better to post these, to insert them in the classroom and then have your written component. If you're going to put them into a PDF, um, like what I'm doing, then um, uh, you might want to consider the fact that um, you're not going to see you know, it looks like an open composition and, and we don't, we don't really like that. So written component, you're going to have, um, I created this by, and then you're going to put your process sketchbook, iPad, you know, Photoshop, photography, tracing paper, whatever it is we want. We want, you know, a paragraph of how you created it, right? How did you feel about Illustrator? What kind of problems did you run into? We always want to hear. Pretend that I'm your art director and it's Monday morning and I say, hey, so you got the Penske file. Right? Tell me about it, right? And you're going to tell me everything about what's going on here. Okay. 
maybe, you know, and this is the inverted version. If you've already gone to the trouble of writing up here, you probably don't in here, right? But again, you might want to consider just inserting these into the classroom and then putting that written component in that feedback area. As long as we have at the end of the day, the .ai file, okay, the original Illustrator file, okay, with all of this good stuff, and then we have, you know, a positive image, and then it's inverted um, um, version, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so I hope that helped in Illustrator. The artboard, the placement of, of a file, the turning it into a vector, um, you know, using that properties window. Uh, there's some other tricks I can show you, but I'll save that for another tutorial.